best thing about being in the beer industry in Pennsylvania is the fact that we are a true beer state. We house everybody from startups from last week to the oldest brewery in America. We are absolutely the luckiest company in America probably to, to be around for 188 years and go through the hard times. You know what, I got back in here in 1985 and we went from 137,000 barrels to 2.7 million and we're still growing so. I was the first microbrewery in Pennsylvania and I was the first female brewer in the country. Consumers are very savvy and they always want something new. And the next couple years are going to be just very uh, interesting, I should say. I, need a, I, I think I need a drink. One thing that Pennsylvania breweries are doing for the state is generating a $1.2 billion impact on the state's economy. That's B with a billion. We're actually all taking part in a cultural phenomenon, and that's the thing that the world's largest breweries are gonna have the most difficult time recreating. There's never been a better time to be a beer drinker in Pennsylvania, that's for sure. Just by the sheer number of breweries out there, I think we're at, at the highest we've ever been. And then also from a creativity standpoint too, everyone's doing different things. Well, everything that I just said as a positive is also a challenge. So it's by far the best time to be a beer drinker in Pennsylvania because there's so many great beers out there. We're all doing the same thing, so you'd think it would be more cutthroat, but in reality, we're a family, so. Everybody's willing to help you, nobody is judgmental. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, it's a business, things can go well, things can go wrong, but there's always that great beer at the end of the day waiting for you, which makes it all worthwhile. What's next for us? Global domination. <laughs> we make beer. This is a fun industry. Let's enjoy it, let's do something different, let's do something that, that pushes the, the boundaries and see what happens. You have to love what you're selling and love what you're making. If you don't, then it's not gonna work. We used to always say, we make all the beer for us, and whatever we can't finish, we'll sell. <laughs>